Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to use some um, R script um, and we're going to make use of uh, the Deriv Markets uh, R package. And just to follow the link here, um, you can just double click on the hyperlink and one place to view <clears throat> the uh, functionality of the Deriv Markets package is to go into uh, the RDRR portal. And uh, we can explore a little bit the source code and the functions that are there. So the, what we're really interested in here is the, the Greeks. So we have R Greeks.R. So it's the, the, these are where the functions have been written. And this is the script that is used. And then the functions uh, are given names, right? Um, and likewise, we have below, we have Greeks2, Greeks2 function and so on right so uh we can if we install the package right so to install the package we have to first of all make r available in our google collab so we execute this magic cell here and that allows us then if we prefix our r script or r code with this double percent uh, signed then r in the collab we can execute the r code Right, so we must install the Deriv Markets package and then make that available in the, this environment, right? So this, this is two, it's double barreled, the installation and then making it available in this environment. And then once we've completed that, we can just follow um, the path or the, the code that's available in the package. So for instance, if we come back out here and go to the Deriv, markets the pdf file and this was set up to a company a textbook written by robert mcdonald um who goes through this in, in more detail maybe we should uh take a look at that there is markets there is to markets <clears throat> um and uh, robert mcdonald Right, that's there on Amazon. Okay, so this is the textbook. Um, and of course, um, you can obtain a copy uh, there, but um, the R code that goes along with this is available then in this package. Um, and so anything that is covered here, you can follow a very, you know, complete, um, very complete, explanation then in this textbook and i'll leave a link to the textbook here as well so perhaps uh, the deriv markets package if we double click here and i'll just put in here text and then we'll control v right and the, the, the that means then afterwards uh, if you want to explore that you have that link okay so we've loaded in the package and we've made it available in this environment and then very, in a very straightforward manner, I copy the code directly over um, and we can estimate. So we can run using this command, uh, S equal to 100, K equal to 100, V equal to 20%, the risk free rate 5%, maturity equal to one year, D zero. We can get the black Scholes estimate of the premium. So that's the black Scholes call and then we've Delta Gamma Vega takes in row and the economic interpretationism is provided in the textbook and some discussion um, here as well, right? In relating to the option Greeks. So if we go to two, four here, right? That'll bring us down to the option Greeks. Okay, so um, if we want to uh, run these commands here, we can, but um, and you can do a straight copy over and paste and you should obtain those results, right? So you can copy and paste, copy the bold spread, it's a function, and you can output the, the values there. So that's quite a powerful uh, set of commands that are available in, in that PDF format. So I'm following that and I, I'll leave a link to this collab underneath the video clip as well. 
So we're able to pull up uh, without too much difficulty then the Greeks and the value of the option. And the Greeks too does something similar, right? So there's no major difference between the two outputs here. Um, we can limit to delta and gamma, for instance, and for the call. So it's a BS call. And we're setting the parameters. We've already created these objects, S is equal to 100, K is equal to 100. So that passes through to the formula. Then we can run this and we get the value of delta and gamma. And then if you want to get the an, a generalized output for the BS opt, then we're getting the entire set of Greeks for both the call and the put, right? Um, we could also look at the value of the option for different strikes. And we could say, look, instead of loading in K as a unique value, load in K as 90, 100, and 110. So we have three different strikes here that we've included in. And then S is still 100, V is 20%, R is 5%, T is one year, and D is equal to, would be equal to um, uh, zero. So let's run that and you get this output. So for instance, at any stage, if you were curious, what had we set D equal to, just run D and it should come up with zero. Or if it was, uh, you had forgotten R, just run and you can verify what the value is. TT should be one year. And then the volatility, right? If you were unsure what the volatility is, just go back, run it. And we have it as 0 0.2, okay? So that's, that allows us to do a check. Okay, so we have um, we have run the estimates uh, for the delta and the gamma for the three different exercise prices. Otherwise, the other values are the same. Uh, it might make more sense if we're looking at a sequence. So sometimes we set this up type of exercise up in Excel. We consider the option value, it's Greeks for a series of different stock prices. So we can create a sequence starting at 10, running to 200 and going up in a step size of five. So we can go from 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way up to 200. And if we didn't put in S there, nothing would populate out. So by including S that then reports out the sequence, right? Uh, and for each of those stock prices then, these 39 stock prices, we want to run the BS call. And for each of the stock prices, output a value for the delta, the gamma, the beta, the theta, and the rho, right? So let's run that, see what we get. And you can see we're getting um, values for at 10, at 15, at 20, at a stock price of 25, uh, at the stock price of 30, stock price of 35, and all the way up to uh, 200. Right, and we get a delta, a gamma, vega, theta, and rho, and the option value. Uh, likewise, we could just do the same for the puts. And if we wanted to inspect the puts, just put in PUT below and run, and you can see we get the same type of output again, same format, but this time we're estimating the value of the put option and the varying Greeks then associated with the put option. Okay, so no need to put that in twice, I suppose. Um, and then to create a, a set of graphs, we could create a loop type structure for both the call and the put. And then we estimate, we create a four by four plot. So we have one, two, three, four by four uh, plot. And then uh, in each of the uh, headings here, we put the row name is incorporated in to be the, the title of the plot. So by running that, we're able to create a separate uh, graph for the premium, for the delta, the gamma, the vega. Now notice that if you have different values on the y-axis, but it's, they share the same value on the s -axis, on the x-axis. So on the x-axis, we have S always, the stock price. And on the y-axis, then we have the different, the, the call value, the delta, the gamma, the vegetator row for the call and for the put. 
Okay, now that's a quite a nice and interesting graph. I mean, we could um, open the image in a separate tab and go in and take a look and we could explore a little bit more. Uh, we could copy the image, put it into Word documents. Um, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Uh, there's certain economic interpretation, each of those, and you'll find that in the textbook. Uh, one of the nice features about running these type of estimations in R is that you can run then the estimations and the graphing in conjunction with already existing packages from R. And one in specifically that's of interest is ggplot2, which is a very powerful visualization tool available in the R environment and as part of the R tidyverse suite. So other packages uh, incorporated here in the, it would tidyverse would include the plier um, and knitter and um, packages that allow us to do data transformation data manipulation now uh, the ggplot2 uh, means that we can use the syntax of ggplot2 to run our plots so if we execute again estimate the call and the put for the same series of stock prices and for Okay, and then if we want to see what S is here, just put in S, is it capital S? Capital S and execute, and we should get, um, we should get percentage R and just put in S. Okay, and we get that series of S and for R, should be 5% and for T, TT should be one year. And I think we know what we're dealing with, right? So we're dealing with basically the same KV or TV, but S that runs from 10 to 200 in steps of five. And then we want to estimate the Delta, the gamma, the Vega Tate and the Rho. And then we want to plot this using uh, the ggplot2 syntax. Right, so on the x axis here, we have the value of the stock, on the y axis, then we have our delta gamma, vega, theta, rho, and the, the premium. Right, in fact, just the, uh, the premium, and we're in combining into the graph both the delta, so we don't have a separate graph for delta call and put, we have one graph for the call, call delta for the call put. Uh, here we have the call and the pot here, uh, we can see the legends. Again, we can do the same, can open in a separate tab. And if needs be, then we can copy that image and paste it into a Word document. So that's quite a powerful uh, uh, way of uh, capturing your graphing and posting it then either to web page or whatever. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, basically, I was trying to demonstrate a little, little bit the capability of the Rift Markets R package uh, and how you can combine it with other R packages for visualization. Uh, but of course, there's a lot more in that derivative markets um, uh, package. Uh, there's uh, areas relating to barrier options, perpetual American options, binomial option pricing, Asian option pricing, compound option, jump stochastic vol volatility bonds, uh, and Monte Carlo. So uh, again, there's a fair uh, amount of content and technical uh, explanation with all the coding uh, providers. And uh, then for a very deep explanation, um, the actual textbook, which is in the derivatives field, quite a big, significant uh, part of the uh, literature. Uh, John C. Hall's textbook would also be very good. Um, and this derivative markets are two of the key um, uh, books that, uh, ref key reference books that um, I uh, very often recommend to students. Okay. So let's uh, leave that there.